yeah, very happy. Uh, when he got onto the plane in Melbourne, I thought he was just a little bit big in condition and thought he might need to do a bit of work here, but he's tightened up on the plane, which is great, and therefore we won't have to do a lot much or a lot more with him. Um, just keep him occupied. Um, I'd be more than happy if the race was, was tomorrow, um, but it's not, it's next week. Um, so it's just a matter of tying him over until then. Maybe a little piece of fast work uh, a little bit closer to the race, but I think it'll be more to keep me happy than the horse. Oh, yeah, the 14 group ones have been good. Every one of them is, but um, this is a, another level again, I guess you could say. In terms of experience for me, it's, it's certainly a new level, um, but any group one race is good. So there's so much um, heritage and history. I'm invincible with the first season sire. My basic philosophy in buying horses is you normally buy either first season or proven. And I look at all the first season sires and, and at that sale, you know, my short list was full of I'm invincibles. They, they just look like, you know, good, tough running types of horses that shouldn't take too long. Um, and fortunately, Brazen Bow was at the top of that list and probably even more fortunately, he was one of the first, he was my first lot through the sale. So, you know, when you're only buying one horse, you know, destiny sometimes plays a massive part because if he had have been the last horse on that list, I may not have ended up with him. He's right in uh, good shape and uh, couldn't really ask uh, for a horse to do any more when, it, when they're traveling. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, this is the best yearling I bought so far. You know, when you can buy horses right from the start, it actually means it's a lot more exciting. It means a lot more because you can see how they develop over time. For the more precocious and the quicker sprinter milers, we go to Australia, we've been doing it for years. But, uh, most of the yearlings, probably about 95% of them all come from, from the Australian market just because they're more precocious. They adapt better and a lot quicker to the Hong Kong environment. We've bought our best horse over, so hopefully uh, Dad's gonna have every chance of uh, adding to his uh, Group 1 victories overseas. Thank you.